Hi, hi, carrots. What's up, everybody? Thank you guys for coming into another video today. Today, I am reviewing episode one of the Koa 4. We're on Koa 4, yes. Koa 3, Koa 4, Koa 3. Yeah, we're on Koa 4. Koa 4 tournament. Before you did win, thanks to Sprinter, thanks to Persuade, thanks to everyone. Um, we worked really well together. We practiced very, 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 very long time for this. We put our heart and soul into this tournament, and the hard work paid off. It really did. So thank you guys all for the support. And um, yeah, let's hop into this first one. So we do start off with Leo's memory. Um, we started planning this. Well, Persuade had mentioned this six months ago. Um, Leo's memory is not a map that is, is played a lot. It's not a map that no one no one likes Leo's. Uh, no team in the NAEU server likes Leo's memory. So we brought it upon ourselves. Me and uh, Persuade talked about it. Like, we should bring Leo's. Why don't we just get Leo's, practice Leo's? So this was six months in the making. A lot of behind-the-scenes things. We switched our roster up. We, we did a lot of things uh, leading up to this tournament. But here we are. We do hop into the gameplay. Um... Alien actually gets a very, very good spawn. Uh, this spawn is called Crate. He gets Crate spawn. In this spawn, someone they, they spawn on top of each other. Two survivors spawn on top of each other's shack, basically. And Alien does get problems. Um, three Pallet. Three Pallet is one of the worst kiting areas in the game. Uh, against a Dream, which is very hard. Especially um, in practice, it's very hard. Alien makes a really, really good leech. Um... Paul doesn't get out in time. Alien really does a good job here. Um, gets an early, very early hit on uh, Paul, and Paul starts to kite towards Christmas tree. Um, but like I said, guys, we did pick, we did pick Leo's because uh, Persuade had mentioned it. Uh, Persuade being our coach, we are blessed to have Persuade. The coach, uh, the coaching by uh, Persuade has really helped our team out. Aaron, PR's coach, has really helped. PR and Mayhem, an amazing coach, has really helped Legacy out. So the coaches are. Um, we wouldn't be anywhere without the coaches. So thank you, coaches. Um, all three of these powerhouse teams played well. It's unfortunate LBM couldn't play. I was really uh, waiting to see them play because um, Liz Flower is a very good coach and player as well. Anyway, Paul does kite out the uh, patroller. Very, very hard to do. You have to time it. It is uh, 14 9 4. Very hard to do. And we tell Paul, okay, Paul, you're going to die, die in the corner. We uh, tell Paul, die in the corner. Persuay actually helped us out with this specific location as well. Um, Persuay actually taught us a lot. So um, he, Alien is going to leech uh, the Cypher, what he should do. Very good play. Makes Roland go off the uh, Cypher. But Paul's kite was uh, around 80 seconds. So because of that, the Cypher is almost primed. You can see, uh, you can see me decoding over there. I'm just trying to chill. But Rowan does a really good save. He digs early so he doesn't get hit. If Rowan gets hit before he digs, he would fail that save. We go into a spiral with snowball effect. But Rowan gets a really good save. Rowan saves and starts to go towards Shaq. Why? Because Paul can finish the Cypher. Paul can finish the Cypher with 20 seconds of Tide Turner. Use that 20 seconds of Tide Turner to 1. Either relocate or 2. Decode a Cypher. The Cypher was about 85, 90. So Paul can finish that Cypher. And um, Alien should... Uh, Alien plays as well. He's looking around. He knows I'm around, so he can't really uh, pressure other ciphers, uh, because if the main body leaves, um, I can just stun. And if I stun a leech, then he can't do anything. Now, guys, what I, I would like to point out in my mindset right here is Alien has trump card. If I get blinked here, everything starts to snowball, because leg is across the map. So I'm just using my football. I'm using my football as a utility. I'm not trying to stun this game. My uh, The game plan going into this game is don't stun Schmitty, just don't get hit. Use that football, don't get hit. You're, you're a kiter to this game. You are a kiter. So that was our game plan. I know he doesn't have blink yet. If he switches to blink, I would have footballed again. Uh, he goes off of his... Uh, he goes to leech me, so I get closer to the chair. I use this at advantage. I'm not early saving because the ciphers are almost done. And right here, I go behind this barrel. That's my leech. That's why I run towards it. If he has to hit me, hit me with my leech or I'm going to waste your time. So I just kept wiggling around the cipher. I mean, <laughs> barrel. I saved Paul. So right here we have a miscommunication, actually. I was going to body block Paul, but I didn't know the ciphers were almost done. If I body block Paul, we would have been able to pop the ciphers. I 100% guarantee it. But here, um, here my team is telling me, okay, Schmitty, we just need a tie. That's all we need. 
You don't need to stun alien. You do not need to stun. Just distract long enough so we can pop the ciphers for the tie. So right here, I go for the stun. I don't try to uh, chair. I don't try to balloon stun him. I stun so he has to pick up Paul. He won't hit me. We can pop the ciphers because of that. We only, if I needed a win, I would have played that much differently. But we just needed a tie. Because we needed a tie, I went for that early stun. He has to pick Paul up or hit me. If he hits me, the ciphers pop. If he picks up Paul, the ciphers pop, and I'm gone. Um, but if I would have went for the stun regularly like a win... By the way, Roland, what an amazing shovel. Diggs the patroller. What an amazing shovel. I, I love Roland so much. He, he played really well. He's worked so hard for this. Um, if I do stun normal and I go down and he picks me up, then we... Then we uh, we don't we tie that or uh, lose that honestly. Unfortunate alien does miss that blink. Alien missing that blink pretty much secured the tie. He could have uh, clutched this out. I know alien. Um, alien's a very very good hunter. We picked Leo's primarily because <laughs> alien's a powerhouse dream witch. I know. So Roland buys enough time for me to get to the gate. If he does hit that blink, it it could have still been a tie, but it would have been more in the favor. It would have been more in the favor of Alien getting a three-man. Alien played really well, but uh, Paul's kite on top of our Cypher Rush. Leg Cypher Rush was amazing, by the way. The Cyphers popped into Blink. But, um, yeah, we do end up winning that round. I think it was 7-3. to three. I think 7-3. to three. I could be wrong, but Sprinter did uh, three-man them. We tie. We win the round going into round two. I will be doing uh, Lakeside later on, um, but this is Leo's. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Like I said, uh, this has been six months into the making. We planned and planned and planned. We picked Leo's not because every, not because we're going to play a pro team on it when we play in China, um, but because we knew what we were playing against. We knew NAEU competition. We knew what the weaknesses were, and we exploited those. Uh, Alien and Legacy played very well on Leo's, but we've been practicing this, so um, all the hard work did pay off. Thank you guys once again. Have a great night, baby carrots. Have a great day wherever you are. Stay safe. Bye-bye, guys.